is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. There aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight, he stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Off the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big leg kick land. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Beautiful punch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, nice jab. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stick on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Just out of range with that left hook. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, wow! Head kick! Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, that's a good right hand. 
watch his block. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. DC, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Beautiful strike. Slips to avoid that left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Still nice body kick lands. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination up top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Nice jab. Follows it up with a nice right hand. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in <laughs> Tom Brady. Stop it, John, <laughs> stop it. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's thrown right from the chin, too. Horn strikes for the end of round one. And it could very well be anyone's fight here. All right, what a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed, scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land even though he's done it multiple times. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Here's where we push. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, Superman punch. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice head kick. His opponent has not adjusted to these head kicks. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Try to establish that jab. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, He's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 
over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, huge block! We go two minutes down here in the second round. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Nice. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big head kick lands. He blocks the shots. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, man, head kick lands. Gets hit with a kick. Hands higher, hands higher. Got clipped with the right hand. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Big kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Let's get some offense. Let's get and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Final seconds here. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. Right, we'll to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Just misses with the punch by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands flush with that right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice in size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Dig and kick.
Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. There's no give on that leg kick. Goes to the body with the knee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Blocks the shot. Big head kick. That's a big strike right there. Nice leg kick. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, what a head kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Nice body kick. And they separate. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Good punch land. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Powerful leg kick lands. They continue to exchange. Now connects with a right. All right, throws a straight punch and lands. So that is increasingly becoming an effective weapon for him tonight. This is one of his best strikes. He's throwing it over and over again. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Flush right hand is true. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Hard shots landing on both sides here. I need you to get that takedown. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Nice kick. 15 seconds. How good is that right hand? Look at the force behind that leg kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we'll get you some highlights, DC, from that previous round. You know he's got a penchant for landing those head kicks and certainly found that form in that previous round. Very rarely do you get a fight where a guy gets kicked in the head this many times. He better make some adjustments. He better keep his hands up or he's going to go good night very soon. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, man, that, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. What a tricky head kick. 
safe. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Leg kick. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Big punch lands through the middle. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. He loaded up there on that high kick. Superman punch. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Great punch. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard, he kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. Unable to connect this. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Nice punch land over the top. can finish. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Lands the right hand. Oh, a huge block there. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Nice head kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Sneaky head kick. Oh, he leads with a power right hand there, DC, that'll work. Really sat down with that right hand. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from land. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. 
All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Can't take many of those. You better check. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badger in that left side of the body. Kick to the body by Lee. Big punch land. That was a thudding leg kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Real sneak body kick. And once again, looking for that highlight real KO with that front kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Misses with the left hook. Nice head kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. Back and forth we go. Just misses with the jab there. So he counters with an effective punch there and in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Big head kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice strike. Oh, and he caught the kick. Trying to double up on that jab. Just unable to quite find that range. And he caught the kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Out of range with that kick attempt. Big leg kick land. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, so let us see who has enough left to finish this fight. I'm looking at two fighters who are on the verge of guessing. I mean, they have done everything in their power to finish this fight, but their opponents are so tough that they find themselves very late and both asking the question, how do I get this done? Ooh, what a punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. One minute to go in the fight. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. That's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, big head kick lands. Unable to land with that punch. Checks that leg kick. So a 
close competitive fight throughout. It goes the distance. Maybe a slight striking edge on one side, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get the I mean, he's got to hope, right? He's got to hope that what he did, those exchanges where he came out in front, was enough to earn him the victory. This was a very, very close fight, and I'm interested to see who gets the decision. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, Assassin. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, for the winner by split decision, Assassin.